Hello everyone and welcome back to some more Let's Play RimWorld Alpha 15. So, I believe just towards the end of the last episode I took care of this raid. Yeah, I just, I always like to say this at the beginning of the episode because some people might wonder why I'm forgetting a bunch of stuff when it seems like, well, I'm sure some people binge watch episodes of a Let's Play like this. So, some people might wonder how I'm so forgetful, but it's been like five days since my last episode, so that's why. Okay, what was I going to do? Uh, actually, I don't really need to strip these guys, because I'm just gonna cremate them anyway, so there's no point in that. Uh, we have this guy. I think I designated him to be, yeah, released, because he has pretty... Yeah, he's got two very, very not good stats. So, I want him out of here. Also, is this... What is this even made of? Marble? Yeah, let's not make that out of marble. Okay. Okay, yeah, we do have some marble sitting over here, so that's good. Okay, what was I going to do then? Yeah, I was going to... I think I'm going to prioritize releasing lips if I can. I don't remember if you can prioritize releasing. No, you can't really. I can... <laughs> uh, nah, I won't do that. I was going to... I was thinking of stripping him and then, you know... Actually, let me see. What, what kind of clothing does he have? Huh. I kind of want to strip him. And then release him, because then free clothes, you know? Unfortunately, I don't think anyone's going to warden him. Yeah, I could just do this, and then someone will do it the first thing in the morning, I believe. So sorry for this. My stupid mic wasn't facing the right way, so that's why I just did that. Okay, what is this? Limestone? Hmm. Don't we have a bunch of limestone already? Yeah, we... Oh, yeah, that was the last cargo drop. We got a bunch of limestone, and I think that's what I made my... Yeah, that's what I made my crematorium out of. I really don't need that, though. It's really far away as well, so... <laughs> kind of more trouble than it's worth. Huh. We really need more steel. More than almost anything else. Yeah, and unfortunately, we've pretty much mined out every... Every chunk, I guess, of it in close proximity. Hmm. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to temporarily deconstruct that. Oh, you know one thing I've been thinking about doing for a while is finally opening this stupid thing up and seeing what's inside, because chances are there's a probably... A... Actually, let me... Hmm. You know what I'm going to do? This could be risky. I'm going to do it anyways, though. I'll build this turret right away, and then I'm going to open this thing up. Actually, you know what almost might be a better idea? Hmm. How much limestone? Let me just see. I can't remember what a wall. Five is... Yeah, I'm all, I'm all, yeah, a wall is made of five. I could do what some people have, like, told me to do for some other things, and that is make, like, a... Actually, I guess it would almost be better to do it on this side, because there's a lot more... Well, no, I, then I won't get any turret support. Hmm. Eh. You know what, I was gonna I was just thinking of making like a bunker, because I know people have mentioned that in the past, but you know what, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna be reckless and oh no wait. I wanna construct that turret more than anything first. Okay, Tonio, do this, please. Although I don't know if we even have enough steel to do this, to be honest. Yeah, we don't have enough steel. Well that's great. Uh well you know what? I'm just gonna I'm trying to think what would be the best location to open this up at. Well, you know what? Here's the thing. If this is full of mechanoids... Here's the thing. If it's full of people, I want it opened on this side, because then we can let the turrets take care of the people. But if it's full of mechanoids, I almost would want to open it up on this side, because then they would probably be willing to go all the way around. Whereas I think people tend to just flee. Like, if you've got people in crypto sleep caskets, I don't think they tend to, like, want to kill you. They kind of just want to run away. I, actually, I guess I'm not really sure about that. I've never really tried and seeing like whether they just want to get out of the like get out of here or if they want to flee i've never really tried it out so i guess i really don't know uh meh, whatever i'll just i'll just be reckless and do this i'm hoping it's full of a bunch of uh, crypto sleep caskets because i believe that'll give us a bunch of gold and steel it is awesome so we've got four crypto sleep caskets oh a psychic animal pulser and a psychic shock lance as well, so we can use these later. 
So the animal pulsar, I think, well, the animal pulsar is kind of useless because there's not really any animals to do this to. I think, well, let me just read the description. Yeah, it drives every animal in the region into a manhunting rage. So I guess if you want to get some quick meat you, and you want to drive everything to attack you, that might be a good choice, but otherwise I don't think... Yeah, there's really not even any animals on the map right now, so... Can't see that being a great choice. Okay. This is what I was wanting, though. So, I'm gonna get, gather everyone up because fortunately they don't. I think they used to. I think what used to happen is if when, when you unearth these, people would. Like the crypto sleep caskets would open up right away, but I think it's been changed so that now, instead of them just like getting up right away, you have to actually open a chamber, which I guess is a good and a bad thing. It's good because it lets you wait until you feel prepared to you know, defend, but it's bad because that means, actually, you know what we could do, huh, I'm thinking about this, you know what, I don't want to do this now, yeah, this can wait, I'm just glad I know what's in here, I'm gonna, I'm gonna deconstruct this entire section of wall, I'm actually, I might even do it, yeah, I'm gonna deconstruct this entire section of wall, because really we don't need a whole room here, and actually, if anything, we might as well give us ourselves a little bit of space for whatever I might feel like adding although yeah there's not really anything I can think of adding over here at this exact moment in time but maybe later I'll feel like it <clears throat> so yeah I just I'll just deconstruct this because why not and then this will make it so that once we open this up they'll have no means of defense you know because if yeah otherwise I'm I realize that they'd probably just stand here and try hitting us, or at least one person would, and that person would be a pain in the ass to take care of. Actually, it almost might have been a better idea to make, like, three separate entrances, or now two separate entrances, so then they might all flock to one, and then we can try sneaking in the other one. Eh, it's too late now, though. Whatever. Also, who's gonna break down? Apparently, Andy is going mental. And I guess it's mostly... Oh, yeah, it's the... Well, it's a mixture of... Oh, yeah, ugly environment, and he's just randomly feeling terrible, and then... Well, eating without table, which is his own damn fault. Oh, it does seem like walking speeds aren't really... I don't know, I haven't really tested it out. Let me just check here. Okay, it does seem... Yeah, walking speeds are hindered when you're on top of a hydroponics table. I wasn't sure. Yeah, that's the thing with a game like this. You never know when something like that might just change at any moment in time. Levia is picking out on food... The last straw was that she was wearing tattered. I always, I don't really understand the last straw thing. I guess the point is that I, I don't really, I really don't understand the last straw thing. I guess it's to tell you what mood debuff just so happened to uh, be the last one that occurred before they went crazy. I guess, I guess it's just to let you know. But I don't know. Seems weird. Uh, why do we keep getting food poisoning so much? Is it because of how we're storing the food, or... I don't know. Also, I'm surprised how long... I think we just don't like these potatoes, because I've noticed we've been, like, preferring meat, it seems, over the potatoes. I don't know why. Doesn't matter, really. What the hell just happened? Oh, you shitting me. A blight destroyed... Oh, my God. I, I thought that was fixed, but I guess I think that's only for devil strands, so he never fixed it for trees. Okay. I should have deleted these zones, I guess, then. Okay, this used to happen, I know, with Devil Strand. It was the worst offender, because if you have a Blight, it, you know, destroys, like, 90% of all your crops. So if you've got a bunch of Devil Strand, you, what you used to have to do is you used to have to delete the growing zone, because then it's no longer considered one of your crops. But, unfortunately, it seems like it wasn't fixed for trees, because I know Tynan, people are obviously pissed that, you know, the item that's the longest to grow in the game can just get completely eliminated by the Blight. And I think Blights used to happen a lot more often, but I think they've been... The odds of them occurring have been a little bit nerfed. Oh yeah, someone mentioned this a while ago in one of the comments. I I noticed it too, but I feel like people just get... Like, I noticed it a long time ago. I've no, I've no, Like, I see it every once in a while too. I just never bothered removing it because I was just lazy. And I guess I figured, well, for a while we had such a full stockpile that I didn't feel like, you know, bothering to, uh... Whoops. I didn't feel like bothering... To 
to move more food into a place that we had no room for. Although, yeah, our stockpile is going down, and admittedly, a stupid blight isn't really helping. A stupid blight isn't going to help that so much. There, now that that's fixed. I'm sure someone was really annoyed by that. Also, one thing that I'm actually kind of annoyed by, so I'm just going to fix it right now, is this stupid, uh... Oh, you're not assigned to hauling, are you? Okay, this. Yeah, I just don't want that to be there. <laughs> it takes up one spot. Oh, what the hell did I do here? Oh, I built this in a different... Oh, I see what I did. Okay, I'm wondering, I'm like, what the hell's going on here? I built the vent in the wrong... Yeah, I see what happens. Yeah, the point of the vent is because I just figured it's always, it's almost always really cold outside, so I might as well just... Okay, I see what I did now. That was stupid of me. Oh yeah, I never finished getting rid of all the steel outside either, did I? I could do that as well. Is this considered an enclosed? Yeah, I guess this is still technically... Yeah, I mean, people can't go through the diagonal. I don't think heat travels through diagonals in the game, but I'm not sure. I can't remember at all. And I'm sure that's something Tynan could have changed at any moment in time, so I'm not really sure. Okay, yeah, I'm just going to deconstruct this steel, because that'll give us steel that is kind of just not being used for anything. Well, that'll prevent people from setting fire to our walls, and it'll also give us some quick and dirty steel. I don't know why I had to add the word dirty there, but why not? <laughs> okay, yeah, marble. So I'll, I'll prioritize on the part of the wall that has a door, so <laughs> that'll make sense. And then I'll probably, yeah, go here, because obviously this is just so any any person can just walk right in here now. Actually, you know what will make this a lot easier? Okay, what the hell are you doing, Henderson? I just want you to haul all the steel, just so people don't have to keep hauling it every 10 seconds. Okay. Although apparently everyone is designed to play games now. One thing I did is I removed the Steam chat notification, but I should probably also remove the like what games people are playing notification as well. Just because I'm sure most people don't want to look at that. Not that it really matters. I mean, it takes up a small corner of the screen, but I'm sure some person I'm sure some people get annoyed by it for no particular reason. Oh yeah, and let's finish that too. All righty then. Actually, I think we're out of marble. Oh, I should have checked where that was. Uh, what do you even mean, alcohol binge? I don't even think we have... Oh, yeah, never mind. Some of the tribals had some beer, I guess. <laughs> they got drunk and then tried, decided to raid us, I suppose. Um, Trying to think. Or not think. Okay, where, where did that stuff fall? Because there was just a, a drop of stuff, and I should probably have checked where it came from. Actually, is that? No, I don't think that came from space. Yeah, I'm just trying to figure out where the hell that stuff that just fell came from. No clue. Okay, doesn't matter then. <laughs> I kind of want to open this up too. I don't think it said anything is inside here, so there's not really... It doesn't make a difference whether or not I open this, but... I guess it'll give us some more building room, huh? Not that we really have anything I think is necessary to put in any of these building areas, but... I don't know. Why not? God, I've noticed when sent when these we bleh, mechanoids are downed, they tend to just like Oh god, another manhunter pack. We have gotten a lot of these, haven't we? Oh my. Thirteen muffalos. Of course, right after we've built all this all, all these turrets, they're probably gonna get I'm not sure. I was about to say they're probably gonna get destroyed. I don't Muffalos do take quite a bit of damage. I guess we'll just have to find out, won't we? Hmm. Okay, where is everyone? Is this everyone in the colony? Yeah, it is. Ah, uh, well, actually, I can just wait a while. Although, actually, oh, you know what? I think they're going to do what those boom rats did. Yeah. They're just going to hang out around here. They're not going to try to actually attack us, which is kind of annoying as hell. Ugh, I'm going to have to restrict everyone to area one, I think. Because, yeah, they're not actually attacking us. They're just hanging out on this door. Oh, they are? Oh, that's interesting. They are actually attacking the door, which they normally don't do. Uh, I'm trying to think. 
Tony was about to snap. I think. Yeah, Tony was about to snap. Okay, what is your problem, Tonio, anyways? Constraining clothes. Oh yeah, you're a nudist. Huh. That's weird. He's just kind of not happy. There's not really any particular reason for it. Hmm. I'm trying to think of how to deal with this. I guess what I could do, just temporarily, is just open one of these... Open this up right here, and then they should maybe all start flooding in, and then, like... Manhunting animals don't ever really destroy random properties, so unlike raiders, they're not gonna, like, destroy our power generators or anything. You know what I was thinking, actually? I, if I was smart, I would move my... I should move my power generators, like, over here. Because this is a much more, like, high-traffic area than this over here. Like, we never have people going down here. There's... Huh. And I mean, a sapper is more likely, I think, to break through, like... Well, I don't know. Where is, where is a sapper more likely to break through? I guess a sapper is most likely to break through, like, down here, down here. Although, probably, I think a sapper would, if anything, go through, like, here, if they were to attack. Because this is, like, the least dangerous part of our base, because that's where all the living shit is. I think they tend to try to avoid any form of, like, security that they can, like... I don't know, it's kind of weird, because sappers, like, know where all your defenses are. Even the ones that they have no ability to have ever seen. <laughs> ah... Okay, what was I even doing? I, I got, like, off on a tangent. Okay, yeah. I guess I will deconstruct this. Uh, it, it could... The problem is they're gonna sort of get the drop on our turrets is the main problem. So, that could cause issues. The question is, where do we want to set up defenses? I guess we want to stay as close to the doors as we can, because obviously... We want to be able to flee at a moment's notice if we have to. We don't... Yeah, I am i didn't. Okay, I was thinking, I wondered if I put a door here, here, but no. Because otherwise I could have had everyone hide here and then just go around. I guess there's no reason I can't just make a door right now, is there? <laughs> I just have to make it out of, like, limestone. Or slate, of course. We've got a lot of that sitting around now. Hmm. I'm trying to think of what is the best way to do this. I know, I'm, I'm, I'm being very cautious. I feel like some people might say I'm being overly cautious. Eh, whatever, let's just go for it. I'm doing, I'm gonna, never mind. Oh, yeah, it's because I restricted them to the stupid zones. Okay, unrestricted. Now, Levia, go over here. I said go over here. Oh, what are they doing? Oh! That's strange. They are actually... That's really weird. They suddenly decided to attack. Huh. Interesting. It's weird how they were going... Yeah, that's really weird. I've, huh. It's funny, the second I decide to mobilize, I think they're just gonna go around and attack us normally. Yeah. What? What? Oh, you know what? I wonder. Was somehow just the fact that Levia was over here, did they, like, start targeting her, I wonder? That's really strange. It seem, that's really weird. Somehow the fact that Levia is in, like, they, they somehow can sense her, like, across the wall or something. So, like, this is actually good, though, because now they're all split up. That's really weird. They're, like, prioritize attacking her, even though they shouldn't be able to see her or anything. I guess that's, that's really weird. Okay, I guess we don't have to go through the wall, then. Huh. That's weird. It's some weird thing, I guess, with, like, the AI's ability to sense enemies or something. It's really strange. Okay, someone should probably turn the turrets on. That might be a good idea. Considering they're, like, right at the door. Okay. Fortunately, by doing this, they're coming out, like, in a very staggered amount, so... We don't have to deal with the whole horde at once. We can kind of take them out easily. Yeah, this shouldn't be too bad, hard to deal with. Honestly, let's just fast forward because... Oh yeah, fortunately because they're animals, it doesn't slow down time. Yeah, this is a lot... Yeah, that was easy to deal with. Yeah, I have noticed... It seems like the Manhunters have definitely made our, I guess, attempt at this game a lot easier. Oh, 
Yeah, there we go. Yeah, it seems like the Manhunters have definitely made our lives a lot easier because that's how we've gotten like a very large chunk of our food is all from Manhunters. Someone did say that too, how they're like, oh, that makes this un... <laughs> what, what did they say? They were like, oh, it's it makes this un... or not unfair. What did they say? I guess they just said it made this too easy, but like honestly, if you're saying... I don't think there's not much that could make the ice sheets easy, because the biggest... I think the biggest problem with ice sheets... Like, I, I think I've said this before, too, is it takes... It just takes, like, twice as long to do literally everything. Like, seriously. Because, <laughs> like, any activity like mining or hauling or anything, it's just... Except for, I guess, in the... Su or even in the summer, because you've got this uh, ice thing that has that halves your walk speeds so all this ice everywhere just makes your walk speeds just atrocious <clears throat> yeah I know it's cold game calm down that's why I've got a heated base there's not much I can really do to protect against negative 47 degrees Fahrenheit unless I like made everyone custom hats out of I guess that's what I could do I could make everyone like custom hats out of Muffalo hide, but eh. I've only got. Well, I guess I do have five people now. That's a lot better than what I had before, but still. You know what? Okay, it seems like a lot of time is getting spent constantly trying to clear. Yeah, do this snow area thing. So I'm just, I'm just getting rid of that. It just takes far too long, especially when it's so close to, or especially when it snows like almost 24/7. You know, there's not really a point in just spending so much time clearing. It's really a waste of time. Or not deconstruct. I've mentioned this before, but I do just kind of want to haul all this junk so people that attack don't get to... They, they aren't, they're not capable of just hiding easily. I think I'm going to prioritize hauling for a little bit. Oh, wow, you're not even... Well, that's weird. I didn't even designate that guy as a hauler. That's weird. I swear one of our people was incapable of hauling. That's... Huh. I guess not. Yeah, I'm just gonna do a sort of day of hauling. Oh, you know what I should do? Yes. I should have... Oh, I should have done this a long time ago, but I didn't. I'm an idiot. Animal corpses. Don't allow rotten. That's what I've... Oh, I should have done that so long ago. Yeah, the animal corpses should get dumped here, because then once the butchering happens, it'll just... You know, you have barely, they barely have to walk anywhere then. I don't know why I didn't do that before. Though admittedly, we didn't have much space in here earlier, but still, I, I don't know why I haven't I didn't do that sooner. Huh. Yeah, that was stupid of me. I don't know why. That's Yeah, that's funny. Normally, I'm smart enough to do that, but I guess I just completely neglected to do that this time around. They are getting these corpses done, too. Yeah, I, I do want these corpses just out of the way. You know, they've just been sitting around for so damn long. I just kind of want them hauled and done with, you know? Oh, and of course, whoever, whatever idiot made this wall. Uh, you know what? Screw it. I'll just let there be a random space there. Yeah, I always I hate when they do that because I realize I don't know they always tend to haul stuff to whatever is closest to them, but it's so annoying when they when they wall in a place that they're supposed to be building a wall. That's weird. Excessive amounts of lightning are hitting a small region. That's kind of a funny thing considering I don't think lightning can occur during snow. I'm not sure, or at least if it does, it's oh you know what. This will get the cre cremating done for me. Yeah, I'm gonna clear this home zone. Yeah, I don't have to. If if I just let that burn and yeah, all the clothing's off these guys. Nope, don't do that. Apple. Oh, okay, go ahead. So you know what? I'm gonna sus uh, sus sus suspend this for a little while. Yeah, cause this this will get my cremating done for me. Uh, cause we, yeah, we don't have Molotov cocktails, so I couldn't take care of this corpse pile any other way, but that was good luck. <laughs> Lightning just took care of my, one of my problems, surprisingly. Oh god, group of tribes people. Oh great, I just was so happy about not having a bunch of corpses to deal with, and now I've got all these stupid tribals. 
and they're just gonna make me a bunch of corpses. At least, though, it'll be a lot easier to go, you know, back and forth this way rather than back and... That's so funny, we haven't even got rid of half this shit cloth, all, all these shitty pieces of clothing. <laughs> we haven't even hauled at half of that stuff. And now we gotta go ahead and deal with these assholes. Oh, these two have diverged from the group to try to break in. I guess we can just... Actually, yeah, you know what? I'm just gonna gather everyone up and mow these people down. I think he gave up right away. Oh, no, he's... Yeah, he gave up right away, pretty much. Are they... And one thing good about this environment, too, though, is that if you have a raid, it's a lot easier to prepare for it, because, well, they it, the enemies have a tendency of having trouble going through this very icy terrain, at least quickly. I guess we'll just surround him, huh? Oh, actually, you know what? I think he's going to be an idiot, and he... Okay, yeah. <laughs> he's just going to be an idiot and not even care about that. That's fine with me. Makes our lives a lot easier and dead. Good job. You were a smart one, weren't you? Oh, they actually, that guy actually set fire. Oh my, that's not good. Uh, okay, everyone should be able to put that out quickly. That's actually very bad. Especially considering one of the corpses is on fire. Yeah, that could cause my entire food supply to, well, bit, get destroyed. Okay, Levy, because I think you're the you're a fire starter, you should probably just do that, huh? Okay, that's taken care of. Okay, you guys get over here now, because they should be here pretty soon. Yeah, relatively soon. Oh, okay, good. Yeah, that could have been bad. I, good thing I noticed that fire. I've, that's happened to me in the past. I don't think it's happened during a Let's Play, but it's happened to me before where there's been like a massive fire and I just didn't notice. And actually, you know what? I'll leave you guys on a bit of a cliffhanger here because I just realized I think I've been recording for like 30 minutes. So I'm going to end it here. Thank you all for watching and hope to see you next time.